what the book value of your business tells us and what it doesn't. Hi, this is Josh Horn of Horn Valuation. I help owners build value and sell their business. What's book value? Well, in the context of business valuation, what I'm talking about today is if you were to take all the assets, less all the liabilities, valued at fair market value, what would that value be? That is often called the adjusted net asset value or the equity at market value. What does it mean? Well, it could mean that it's the floor value of the business. It could set the floor. So if you were to walk away from the business, assuming you're a controlling owner, you just walked away, that could potentially be the value. But recall, one thing I see out there in the market, I see this with business owners and with attorneys, recall that's only one approach to valuing a business. And it's not the one and only. I see a lot of people thinking that is the only approach. There's also the income approach. There's also the market approach. Income based on the cash flows of the business and the risk of the business. Market approach based on sales of similar companies. So on a three-legged stool, if you just valued it based on one, well, the stool wobbles over, you fall down. Second, book value isn't particularly good when you're dealing with the future, which is what we're doing when we're valuing a business. Valuing a business is forward-looking, future-looking. So if the business is expected to turn around, if it's performing poorly right now, then the book value is not going to be a great indicator of the value going forward. And this could be extremely important right now in the COVID-19 environment. I see a lot of businesses right now that are challenged, struggling. Their book value doesn't look good. Their cash flows don't look good either, necessarily, some of them. Some of them are doing great. But if you're in one of those cases where you're doing poorly and your book value looks poor and your cash flows look poor, then that may not be necessarily a good indicator of where your business could be headed over a normal business cycle. We have the vaccine coming. Things are changing out there. And keep in mind that book value is a point of time. It's a snapshot, not always the best indicator of the future. Finally, without analysis, book value tells us nothing about the quality of the assets and the liabilities on the books. So let's say you're piling cash and equipment and inventory, intellectual property, anything you can think of into that business. Is it producing cash flows or not? Because if it isn't, then it doesn't necessarily lend itself to a higher business value. At the end of the day, you really have to analyze the quality of the assets on the books and if they are generating a return. If not, then it is potentially just a collection of assets and liabilities. That's not where you want to be. These are some of the things that book value tells us and many of the things that it does not without further analysis. This is Josh Horn, CPA of Horn Valuation. Have a happy new year and let me know if you have any questions.